welcome to Manchester United. Um, how does it feel to be able to call yourself a Manchester United player? Uh, I, I think I can describe that, that feeling. Uh, so much things happened uh, the last few weeks and uh, I'm happy to be here. What do you think is right for you about this move at this time in your life and this mm -hmm. time of your career? What's right about coming to Manchester United? Uh, I think everything, the, the, the way I spoke with, uh, with the coach and uh, I always dreamed about playing in, uh, in the Premier League. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. There's lots of, uh, of links with Feyenoord, with Manchester United, mm -hmm. for instance, Robin van Persie, yeah. um, of course, to Haith Jong, who, who's here. Mm -hmm. um, did you speak to any of those guys before making the decision to come to Manchester United? No, I didn't spoke uh, about this decision, but uh, I spoke in the past with, with Robin always, and I played with him, and I spoke with him about his experience in, in, in Manchester. And... Uh, I always had contact with uh, Tahit uh, the day he moved uh, to England. So, uh, yeah, it was always a uh, good, uh, good feeling, yeah. Did Robin have good things to say about Yeah, yeah, about... yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> everything was good. He says he's uh, the biggest club and uh, the feeling was good and uh, he loved it here. Yeah. Obviously, you're coming from a club with great history in final to yeah. another one here in Manchester. What, what, do, you, what do you know about it? Manchester United, really, and Manchester United's story? Uh, a lot, yeah, because this is the biggest club in, in the world and uh, you can see it in the, because of the fans, uh, great stadium, uh, a lot of prizes, and uh, with the new coach, he wants to build to be uh, winning prizes again and I want to be part of the team. There's obviously a, a, a great legacy of Dutch players representing um, Manchester United, Van der Zaal, Van Persie, Van Nistelrooy, Yapstam, there's so many of them. Is that is that sort of legacy another reason for you to be excited about joining this club? Yeah, of course, because now I have something to look up to because they did great over here and uh, I want to be part of that. Uh, Dutch people will, will be great. And when you've been growing up over the years, mm. have you obviously been aware of Manchester United and aware of, of the Premier League? When you think of Manchester United, what comes to mind? What do you think of when you think of Manchester United? Oh, the stadium, all traffic, yeah, amazing. Uh, a couple of years ago, I uh, we had a Nike Cup yeah. at, uh, with final the tournament over here. And uh, at that time, I told my dad, one time I will be back here. And then uh, it happened. So you believed back yeah, then it would course. happen? Yeah. What about the prospect of playing at Old Trafford then? In front of 75,000 yes. people. I mean, what, what, what do you think about that? I think it will be amazing. Yeah, the home games. I would uh, love to be uh, be on the pitch and uh, playing for the for the fans. Were there any Manchester United players uh, that you have admired over the years growing up that you think of that you've watched over the years that Manchester United players that you? Yes, uh, Patrice Evra. Yeah, love. Yeah, it's his his style yeah. of play. Something that you I love. I love his style. Everything. Yeah, everything. He's fast, strong, energetic. Everything. Yeah. He, yeah, I mean, he had an unbelievable career mm -hmm. here at Manchester United. Yeah. Do you look at that? Are you inspired by that? Would you yeah, like to do course, what he did? Course. I want to. I want to do even better. You know, I know it's going to be difficult, but uh, I set the bar for myself high, so uh, it's what I want. You mentioned the, the manager, Eric Ten Hag. You've mm -hmm. got Eric Ten Hag, you've got Mitchell van der Gaard, the assistant manager. You've got Donny, Donny van der Beek, yeah. Tahit as well. I mean, here at Carrington, it's, it's becoming orange yeah. here at Carrington. Um, <laughs> is that going to help you settle in to life? Yeah, it in makes England? it easier, but I met some of the players already and they give me a good feeling and uh, welcome me over here. So uh, I, feel, I feel like I'm at home already. Obviously, you're, you're joining here about a month before the season actually starts in England. How important do you think it was to complete this move and give you a little bit of time to settle in, get to know your teammates before the season really starts? Yeah, I think it's important if you, we go on tour on Friday, so it's important to do the pre-season with, with the team. Now I have to just can come and fix everything besides football. 
Yeah. You mentioned the tour yeah. flying off on Friday. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how much are you looking forward to, to that experience and getting a, an experience of what Manchester United is like around the world, how yeah. big it is yeah, yeah, <laughs> around yeah. the world? I already heard some stories about uh, and uh, in Thailand, that it's, it's going to be big. And uh, I've never been there. I've never been uh, to Australia. So uh, it's, it's all new for me. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. I think the games on tour as well, I think some of them against English opposition, yeah. Liverpool, Crystal Palace, Aston Villa. I just wonder if it would be good to get an early feel for uh, yeah. the opposition that we're going to face yeah. in the Premier League this yeah. season. Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, good games. And I'm looking forward to, to play uh, against these teams. Yeah. And for, for fans or Manchester United fans who might not have seen you play, how mm -hmm. would you describe yourself as a, as a footballer? As a footballer, uh, I am strong in defence. Uh, I love to attack. And uh, yeah, I have a good drive and never give up. Yeah. yeah. These days, fullbacks are very important attacking yeah, weapons yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Is that an important part of the game? Yeah, so, sure, sure. And uh, I spoke with the coach. Uh, he gave me some things I have to work on, but uh, he said it will come with the time. So we've actually heard you compared to Edgar Davids um, because of your tenacity. Do you model your game on on that as well? Yeah, I spoke with him on the national team. He said you are not on my level yet, <laughs> but if you work with me and and speak a lot of uh, about football with me, you will get there. So I'm uh, I'm curious about. It. On the pitch, you're, you, you, I mean, you're a really energetic player, yeah. loud player on the pitch. But what are you like off the pitch? Uh, I love music a lot. Uh, being on my own a lot. Uh, or with my family, but I don't like to go out or that kind of things. It's not my thing. What about your footballing heroes? Your footballing heroes yeah. growing up? Who were they? Yeah, when I grew up, I didn't have really had a hero. My biggest hero was my dad, always for me. Not because the football, but as a person. And uh, when I was when I was playing on the streets with, with my friends, I was always uh, looking up to Ronaldinho. Yeah. Feyenoord, I mean, you obviously joined the club very young. Yeah. Um, what was life like in the academy at Feyenoord in those early, very early years? Uh, for me, it was difficult because I came from an amateur club. Yeah. And going pro club it was a big difference yeah. because of the rules and everything and, and you're playing uh, tournaments outside of the country. Yeah. So it was really difficult for me to, to reset myself. And uh, I think till the under 15, I had a difficult years. And after that, I kept growing, growing, growing. Yeah. So I was doing good after that. I signed my first contract and, uh, when I was 16. Um, you made your debut shortly after that for the yeah. first for the first team. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as a as a very young player, what are your memories of that experience playing first team football, making your debut uh, for? That you, uh, that you will get a lot of ups and downs because I was going like this and then had a little set down. So uh, yeah, you have to keep your head cool and surround yourself with the with which uh, good people and uh, talk a lot. So that's important. I it think, was important for me. Yeah, I think Van Persie was the captain. Yeah, it was. It Obviously, was, it an was. absolute legend at, yeah, at yeah. Feyenoord. Yeah. Um, I mean, what, what what sort of captain was he? And now he's a, now he's coaching there. Yeah, he's coaching well. there. So yeah. what, how, what sort of captain was he? And what sort of coach is he? And what's he uh, like to... Yeah, to he work? knows a lot, of, a lot about football. He loves the game. He, I think he breeds the game. So, yeah, yeah when you talk with him, he's... So much passion about football, and, and the, I think that he's bringing over to the to the players. And then, yeah, if you have the feeling, you feel like, okay, we are going to the. Well, we saw you say once that you, your your idol was your, was your best friend. How yeah. important are your friends and family to you? Many of them are here to, yeah, yeah, today yeah, yeah. on the day that you you've signed. Yeah. And what do they what do they say to you about your move to? United, how excited are they about it? You know, they are really excited and, and happy for me because uh, where we ca where we came from, you know, is uh, is different compared to Disney. So uh, yeah, it's a really big move and big step, and they're really happy for me. And uh, I'm gonna miss them, and they're gonna miss me. Yeah. You said where we came from. Tell yeah. us a bit more about about yeah, that. I, I came. I come from uh, Rotterdam. Uh, 
uh, some big city in Holland. Uh, uh, with my friends and with my family, I always uh, had some good times.